today it is a very, very hot day. And when it is hot here, it is hot here. And I love that this kind of weather when the sun is out and it's just really, really hot. I love it. But when it's hot like this, I just got to rock a ponytail. So that's what we're doing today, rocking kind of a messy ponytail. And it works. Um, oh, hey, hello, Pilane. Thank you for interrupting my video. Anyway, um, I'm going to be doing a tag video today because I am so behind on tags. And today I'm going to be doing the I Heart Drugstore makeup tag, which is really exciting because I do Heart Drugstore makeup. Um, I was tagged by the wonderful, beautiful Sandy Tiefel. We are just really good friends. I will leave her channel link or channel link here as well as in the description box below as well as her video, her uh, drugstore video thingamabob. So I'm just going to get started because there are quite a few questions. Question number one is what is your favorite drugstore makeup brand? Now if we're talking like lip products, because you guys know how much I love my lip products, um, it's got to be Revlon. Everything, every type of lip product and everything that I've tried in like the lip category from Revlon, just I love. And I think they kind of take the cake as far as drugstore makeup goes when it comes to lip products. Now if we're talking everything else, I'd probably have to go with NYX. Um, they kind of have a little bit higher quality with their makeup, uh, especially for a drugstore price. They're, they're just a little bit better quality. So they would probably be my overall um, favorite drugstore makeup brand. Question number two is what is your favorite face, cheek, and lip products? I'm going to start with face. These are, I'm going to start with foundations first, and these are my two favorites from the drugstore right now. This first one is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1, and I'm in the shade Classic Ivory. And then the second one is also, you guys have seen this so many times, but this is the L'Oreal True Match, and I'm in the shade W2 or Light Ivory. And then for concealer, I really only have like one all-time favorite from the drugstore. And I use this for spot treating because it's a little bit thicker and I can't really use it underneath my eyes. But it is the Physicians Formula RX Concealer in the shade Fair Light. Love this stuff. I've just, it's incredible for spot spot treating and like blemishes. It's just really great. Now for cheeks, it should really be no surprise, but I chose the Milani Baked Blushes. I just love these formulas. I think they're actually even better than some high-end blushes that I own in my collection. I reach for these a lot more, and there are so many like diverse different shades with these that it's just, these are just fabulous. The formula is just outstanding and these are by far my favorite cheek products in the drugstore. For lips, this should be no surprise either as I just mentioned how much I really love Revlon lip products. Um, these are just two that I have out on my shelf out here because I have been reaching for them. They're just really bright kind of fun summery colors. Um, this first one is in the shade Coral Berry and it's kind of like a peachy, um, like a pinky orangey coral color. So there's the swatch there. Like I said, it's just kind of a, a pinky coral shade. And then this other one I've talked about so much on my channel, but it's like my favorite nude lipstick. And this is a Smoked Peach from Revlon. And I will show you guys a swatch real quick. And it's also just a very peachy kind of nude color. And it's this one right here. These are just gorgeous, and right now they're the only two out that I have um, that I've been reaching for for most of the summertime. Question number three is your least favorite product from the drugstore, and I don't actually own anything in my collection that I don't like from the drugstore. If I don't like something, I either pass it along or I throw it out. So I don't actually have anything, um, but if I can think of something off the top of my head, there were these, um, these NYX they were like lip balms but they were like tinted lip balms and they were just awful and they were from NYX and I hated them and I threw them out and yeah they were just awful so if if it was anything that I could pick it'd probably be that but I don't have it in my collection to show you guys sorry about that question number four is best makeup bargain and for me it's these wet and wild Fergie lipsticks I recently got these from my husband he went and picked up the whole collection for me and oh my gosh these are amazing 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 and they're only $2.99 in the drugstore they're so creamy and so pigmented I'll do just a couple swatches for you guys um, the, but like I said, yeah, they're only $2.99. I do own the other ones that are like the matte formula that are like $1.99. And I do also really, really like these. But these Fergie ones have got to be like my all-time favorite drugstore lipstick. Like seriously of all time. Just amazing. Um, so here are the two swatches here. 
there's this one that's the pink and then there's like kind of a coral red let me tell you guys what the shades of these of these are so that pink color one is called fusionista and then the kind of orangey red one is called old school glam and then probably my next um bargain makeup bargain i would say is the other wet and wild lipsticks um and they're more of like a matte formula and they're in this like black um, tube. I like the Fergie ones better, but these ones are a little bit cheaper. These are $1.99. They're only a dollar cheaper. So um, both of these, I think, have really great formulation to them. And I just think the Wet n Wild lipsticks for the price are, are totally, totally awesome. Question number five is what is your favorite underdog product? And I cannot talk about these enough. You guys have probably seen me use at least one of these in almost every single tutorial I've done. And that is the e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadows. These are seriously phenomenal. These I like to use also wet and use them as like eyeliners because they go on so creamy and so smooth wet. Just they are amazing. They're crazy, crazy pigmented and just gorgeous, gorgeous. Question number six is show your best drugstore dupe or dupes. I have to actually like sift through and find things in my collection. My collection's very unorganized right now. I know I definitely have some and I can't really think of anything off the top of my head, but I know I definitely do have some, especially like with e.l.f. dupes. I have a lot of kind of eyeshadows and powders that can be dupes for, or I've heard to be dupes of other things, but I just really can't think of anything or pull anything out of the out of my hat at this moment. So I'm just going to move on to the next question. Question number seven is drugstore product that isn't worth the hype. And like I said before, I don't really have a whole lot of products that I don't really like because I tend to either pass them along or get rid of them. And even if there's something that's hyped up I and I don't like it, I just tend to get it out of my collection because I don't like having way too much to kind of, you know, keep track of. Um, but one thing that I do have in my collection still that I do use from time to time, but I see a lot of people talking about and using is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. I really don't like these. Um, I find them really hard to blend out. And I don't know how some of the other colors are, but I really don't like this white shade. I feel like you can get away with using a like cream shadow base and it'll be a lot more effective than this. Um, these also tend to crease on me and I don't really have um, sweaty eyelids or like oily, oily skin. So I'm really kind of surprised that these don't hold up to their stature and they crease horribly. So I really, this is just one I really don't like and I probably will end up passing it along in the very near future because I just, I, I have way better bases, shadow bases for eyeshadow than, than this. So yeah, this is one that's that's been kind of piped up and I don't really know why. Okay, so this quote I just had to share with you guys, it had to be my quote of the day because it just made me laugh really, really hard when I read it. Um, this is a quote from Steve Martin and it says, a day without sunshine is like, you know, night. It's just so funny because it's like complete literal. It's just hilarious. Um, so I thought I'd share that with you because it just really is making me smile. I read it and just started dying laughing. Uh, I don't really know. It's probably not that humorous to you guys, but it just killed me inside. I was just laughing so hard. Um, but yeah, it's making me really grateful for some sunshine. We've had some thunderstorms the last few uh, last few days, couple weeks. We've just had a lot of some thunderstorms because of the um, Arizona monsoon seasons. And yeah, I'm just kind of really grateful for the sunshine out today and blue skies and birds chirping. And, and this quote just goes right along with that and just totally makes me laugh and smile. Um, so let me know what is making you guys smile down in that comment section below. What is making you guys laugh today? Um, sending you tons of love. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you guys.